But I noticed that, you know, um, probably before your current appointments, you are being responsible for lots of things on trade and industry. So could you tell us a bit more about that, especially how that present opportunities between companies in Tanzania and China to collaborate further in the near future? You know, just like what they say here in the UK, that UK and America have this special relationship. I think Tanzania represents Africa to have that very special relationship with China. That's brilliant. And, and, and that is absolutely it's like a darling type mm -hmm. relationship that has been there. And when I was Deputy Minister for Industry and Trade, one of my first international trips was to go to China. And we worked with the Chinese counterpart and Chinese company, Exim Bank of China, and all sorts of, uh, of financial institutions to make sure we encourage the Chinese direct investment to Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And as you can appreciate now, uh, China is a significant player in Tanzania. Uh, when the new president of China was in, uh, in, in Dar es Salaam uh, last year, uh, China government committed the highest ever single investment in Tanzania in the tune of over $11 billion. Mm. These are the investments that are taking place in ports development, mm. oil and gas uh, uh, pipeline development, and I think we are seeing construction. We are seeing, we are seeing the rise of a people of Tanzania. Now we have history of the first uh, standard gauge railway having been built by the Chinese after the narrow gauge that was built by the German during German colonial times in then Tanganyika. The second country to invest in such a mega investment was China to have built the Tanzania-Zambia railway and this was the first model of international cooperation. Now, among other things, we, we are working uh, to create, I think we're going to be successful, to create the first um, China center in Dar es Salaam that will be like a dry port for Chinese products that need to be sold in the continent of Africa. So we are creating a, a place in Kurasini area in Dar es Salaam and this is supposed to be a huge project that the Chinese government and, and our government are working together and we believe that this China, uh, China center will be the, 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 the only center of attraction for anybody from Africa wanting to come to Guangzhou or, or Beijing or other parts of China to, to buy goods. They will come to Dar es Salaam to buy these finished goods and, and some of the goods will be finished in Dar es Salaam and we believe this, these relationships are, are growing. And uh, I noticed that you have a very impressive you know, um, CV, especially your experience working as a banker in the Wall Street before you return to your home country. And you know, one of the key issues, you know, at this moment in London is all about the great excitement on the internationalization of the Chinese currency, RMB. And uh, do you think there might be any future opportunities for, you know, one of the African countries, especially Tanzania, to become another offshore center to hold the, you know, Chinese you know, currencies, you know, trading in Africa. I, I obviously worked for a Norwest bank, it's, it's a large bank in Minneapolis, and, and it was a great experience. Financial sector is absolutely important. What, what we think in Tanzania is, one, the, fin the Chinese currency, not only now is important, China is the world number two largest single economy, and it is growing very, very fast and who knows uh, how soon China will be the world's number one. But having said so, uh, we believe in Tanzania that uh, the, 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 the China generally, China-Africa relationship, trade paths and relationships in the, in the development of oil fields, mining development, uh, um, the development of infrastructure, including railways and harbors that are happening, will have a transformational effect to the rise of Africa. And uh, if you read the report of Mackenzie here in London, mm -hmm. they alluded to the Africa, African states to be the lions on the move. And if you really think, and coming from Tanzania where I take care of lions, and uh, believing that these are lions who were somehow subdued, and now they are on the move. And if anybody, by any statistics, need to appreciate, 
Our country is a epicenter of peace and stability in the entire continent of Africa. It is a place where even the city of Dar es Salaam, the capital, has been mentioned as the port of peace. And this is where people celebrate love and life and uh, they take it easy and they work hard at the same time. And we see this harmony being one of the huge assets we have as a country. And I would like to see this peace translated into more business opportunity. We think Dar es Salaam uh, has the capacity and potential to become the financial hub upon which major transactions could take place, uh, not only from the world, but also from China to come. Then we believe the, the, the Chinese currency should find uh, a stability and also a center of operating uh, from Africa, and that should be Dar es Salaam, given all the historic uh, context I just explained. Yes, that's that's really, really, you know, great point you raise. And maybe, you know, there could be more collaborative opportunities between China and Tanzania on education related, you know, area. Right. We, we, we see a um, couple of things. One, the traditionally we've sent uh, students to, 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 to study medicine in China, to study engineering. What we would like to do now is to invite Chinese experts. One Chinese expert will be able to educate a lot more students within the country than if I sent a hundred. Even now, in my as the Minister for Natural Resources and Tourism, I'm opening up the opportunity for the Chinese uh, expert to come. We're also, uh, in the next month, I'm, I'm hosting a group of Chinese experts uh, who are coming to train the Mount Kilimanjaro climbing porters. These are the, in, in Swahili, we call them wapagazi. These are the people, young people, who uh, help tourists to go up the top of the Kilimanjaro. And uh, we have more uh, Mandarin-speaking uh, Chinese coming to Tanzania. We do not have expertise for people who speak the language. We believe this collaborative effort in education raise the necessary capacity. And, and I just gave you one example, but I'm, I'm receiving a lot of groups of Chinese. And my prime minister was recently in China speaking with Chinese counterpart and more interest, obviously, in, in foreign direct investment coming to Tanzania. We are working to streamline our systems so that we can make it very, very, uh, very quick, very simple, and very smart for, for these mutually beneficial projects to take place between Tanzania and China. And having said so, therefore, we believe uh, we will be increasing uh, the collaboration between universities in China and uh, universities in Tanzania on, on mutually beneficial uh, way. Since you mentioned that you've been to China before, when was that? As a, as, a, as a Deputy Minister for Industry and Trade, we were pursuing a few projects. One yeah. of them was the wind, uh, wind uh, energy project that um, was between um, a Chinese corporation and Exim Bank of China and the Minister of, uh, of uh, Industry and Trade in Tanzania and the area in Singida where I come from. I think that project really went very well. I think they are in the last stage of being able to, to build the first Tanzania um, uh, wind power project. Uh, if they start first 50 megawatt of electricity generation, they will go to 100. We believe the capacity is there up to a, a 300 megawatt. And by the way, uh, we think if we have energy independence, uh, it has enormous bearing to the economic development of Tanzania. And we see, we see our, our, our desire to invite investors, of course, from the West, as well as from our, our Chinese counterpart, whom we have, as I said, a very, very long history.